Welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel Sherrill, and I'm posting another YouTube guitar tutorial. This time, another uh, crack at Now Westland Winds by Dick Gawkin. This tune, oh, like a lot of these Irish tunes, um, just super duper long phrases and done for one, effortlessly, and two, extraordinarily musically, and three, just epic storytelling. Um, Dick Gawkin, if you haven't ventured into his music, I highly suggest you actually stop this video and you listen to the whole record, A Handful of Earth. Um, it's one of my favorites that I think I've ever heard. And this is my crack at the guitar part on Now Westland Winds. I'm playing with a flat pick like this one here. But Dick plays with a thumb pick and his three fingers. Um, if you want to play it exactly like him, this is not the video for that. Um, I'm going to show you kind of my version of what it's like to play with this here flat pick. And um, same tuning. Now what's interesting about this is that Dick is tuned to around 432. So if you're playing along and you're like, this sounds like trash, it's because you're 8 cents off. If you're tuned to 440, uh, get a tuner and change that to 432 and uh, give a crack at playing along in 432. Now, I'm in dadgad tuning, which means D, A, D, G, A, D. Capo third fret means that I'm in the key of F. So get your guitar tuned up to that tuning, and we will take a crack at the verse. Now, I've already done a video that tackles this riff. <laughs> With a flat pick um, and that's in a different video this I'm going to tackle the verse and the reason I didn't tackle the introduction in the first video is because it is super duper hard this verse this verse is four parts into one um, and I'll explain that as I play through it so you heard me playing along with the recorded version, partly because singing and playing this at the same time for me at the moment is not really an option. The freedom that Dick has while he's playing it um, is that piece of musicianship that is very rare and very hard to come by. Now, if I put months and months into this, I could, I could um, melt the lyric and the guitar part together. Um, but some things are just best left to the masters of this style of music. And so I'm going to leave that to Dick. Okay, so the transition here happens. Right here, I'm going to the one chord. Six, four, three, two, and I'm picking. basically just following along with the tablature that I've created to help you um, kind of play this tune uh, as I hear it from Dick. I'm not trying to do it verbatim as Dick is doing it, but I think I'm getting pretty darn close. So that first part... So I'm bass movement, bass movement, one chord inverted, four chord So this tune really uses four chords. The one chord, the inverted one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. In the tablature, I also have just the cowboy chord names written, so you can just follow along. So I'm tuned to dad guy tuning, so I'm not going to play the cowboy chords at the moment. But it's easy enough to follow along once you learn the melody. So to go back to this first part, it goes like this. One chord. One chord inverted. Four chord. One chord inverted. 
five chord. And this little bum, da -da 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 and you can kind of play that however it feels right for you. I go down. Da -da 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 -da. bass movement to that B flat. B flat. Then it goes into the second part. Let me play that whole first part nice and slow for you. One chord. One inverted. Four chord. One inverted. Five. One. B flat. Four chord. Five chord, one chord. Transition, four chord. Now we're in the second part of the verse. Um, we go through a little interjection of the introduction. Then transition moment. B flat. second part which isn't exactly a repeat it's a bunch of uh, kind of material that we've already done but arranged in um, a slightly different way which is why this is a hard tune to play and sing at the same time because you have to think of it as one long phrase you can piece out these phrases but you, the the real work is piecing out the phrases then putting them back together um, and treating this whole verse as one thing and then eventually treating the song as one thing which takes a long time to do for sure so here's that second part again the transition transition through the intro material here transition four chord one inverted five third part of the verse starts right here. Hang out on that one chord, hang out on that sec, uh, uh, one chord inverted, then uh, B flat chord, a four chord. Then there's this little moment of hybrid picking where I'm picking the sixth and the second string at the same time. Back to the first inverted chord. Then five chord. This is probably the most difficult part of section of the tune because it has that little hybrid picking moment. Six and two, three, two, one. You take that third part again. Again, coming the transition is coming from the introduction material. Third part. First. Then that's the fourth part. Let me play that third part again. This is a difficult little section. Um, again, I do have a tablature written for all this because I know I'm blasting through this stuff. It's difficult to see. Um, but here's the transition from the second part to the third part. Then that starts the fourth section of the verse. We do that third part again. Third part. Into 
to the fourth part. Now, the fourth part is not reinventing the wheel at all. It's just a different version, again, of all these same motifs. So the fourth part looks like this. fourth part again. So let me do the whole thing without the singing, then I will do the whole thing again with the singing. Okay. First part coming from that transition moment. Right here. Extraordinarily beautiful, I think. Um, now I'll play it with the singing. Second time. Third time. Singing ready and. playing it pretty quickly and owing to his mastery of the instrument his vocal and this tune in particular but suffice to say that with the tablature and this video um, you can either play it just as strumming no. It's just so good. I don't even want to want to attempt it. Um, but you can also do it standard tuning with the chords that are written in the tablature and just following along as you go. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you have any other tunes you would like, uh, please also let me know in the comments below. Um, I love this style of music. I love learning it. I love teaching it. I love performing it. Um, and it's not easy. What's cool about this is that this dadgad tuning has this, um, especially in Dick Gawkins' hands, uh, this effortlessness and tuned to 432, it even more so, in my opinion, has this kind of soft um, beauty to it. And with pairing that soft beauty with the kind of uh, grit that intrinsically is in Dick's voice and his playing for that matter, is something that uh, I think will forever be timeless. 
Hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you want more, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.